podcasts are popping up all over. And who's downloading them? We are. About a third of the podcasts that are downloaded are done by those 55 and older. If you haven't tuned in yet but want to find out how to listen in, then listen up because Dave Jackson is here to tell us. Dave is a podcast consultant and owner of the School of Podcasting.com. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. So tell us first, what's a podcast? A podcast is a little bit like radio, except radio you have to listen at a certain time. So this is radio on demand. And you can listen on your computer, you can listen on a tablet. If you listen on your, uh, if you have a smartphone, mm -hmm. that makes it even more fun because now you can listen to whatever you want. And there are thousands of titles to listen to. You can listen wherever you want and then whenever you want. Wow. And so, the great thing is 99% of them are free. Oh, even better. Yeah. yeah. So how do we, uh, there's topics that we can tune into. How do we know what the topics are? It's, it's hard to say. There are a bazillion of them. Think of it a little bit like a, a TV show or a, a newspaper would be even better. Because you think at newspaper, there's, there's politics, there's lifestyle, there's sports, things like that. So there are these wide ranging topics. But there's also, you can go hyper niche. Like there's somebody here in Cleveland that does one. It's called the Beard uh, the Beard Podcaster, and it's about <laughs> professional bearding. Oh. I have a friend of mine who does one for a minor league soccer team in Cincinnati called Cincinnati uh, Soccer Talk, and that one was so hyper niche and hyper local that he actually got a sponsor. Wow, wow. How long do podcasts run, and how often are they aired? You can be as little as two minutes. There's a, a great quote from a, a radio executive that said, there is no such thing as too long. There's only too boring. <laughs> and so I have a client of mine that did a, a show for farming and she sent me her first episode and it was three hours long and I'm like Judy it's three hours long and she goes yeah I know my audience says it's too short because her audience is farmers they're out on a, a tractor eight hours a day and they're like where's the next one so a lot of people try to make them like 20 minutes because that's allegedly the average commute in America but it can be really whatever you want and in terms of schedule that again is kind of up to you it could be daily weekly monthly you don't really have to have a schedule. If you can, it's great because now you're part of somebody's routine. But right. there's, there's one podcaster that's completely thrown it out the window, and he takes months between episodes. It's uh, called Dan Carlin. He does hardcore history. But when it comes out, it's such great content that he literally gets hundreds of thousands of downloads wow. the first day. It's amazing. And they're long podcasts, yeah, I assume? Yeah, it's like three, four hours long. Oh, it's wow. crazy. Do you have to be really techie, you know, like my kids are more techy than I am to handle a podcast? Not really. I always say if you can upload a, a picture to Facebook, then you can upload. You have, you have file management down. If you've ever been in the car and the phone rang and you turned down the radio, you know how to mix audio. So you don't really have to be a, a giant geek. And uh, in terms of if you wanted to find one, probably the easiest way is if you just went to Google. So mm -hmm. let's say I was looking for retirement planning. Well, if I put the word podcast at the end of that, retirement planning podcast, and hit search, you're probably going to find something that you can listen to and give it a try. All right. And if we have something to say, we want to do our own podcast. Is that easy as well? That's easy. Come see me, schoolpodcasting.com. Been doing it for 12 years, and I can help you with equipment and things like that. But basically, I just help you start, launch, and grow your podcast. And growing is getting out there, getting the word out there that you've got this great That's podcast. It. All right. Sounds very interesting. I'm going to have to podcast something. That's it. So. <laughs> Thanks to podcasts, you can find information, history, sports, plain old storytelling, and more just waiting for you to take a listen. My thanks to Dave Jackson for helping us to take a peek into the podcast world. Find out more by contacting the School of Podcasting at 234-542-0893 or click to www.schoolofpodcasting.com.